everybody. Welcome back into IMHO. I'm Kelsey. Back over there. That's Lang. And today we are continuing with our far too soon early production. It's not too early. Hey, the, the, do you see that? The NBA season starts this week. Tonight. Or when Tomorrow. this comes out. Whenever this comes Sometime. out. Sometime. Right now. Um, so we're going to just keep on yeah, trucking. Let's keep going. We got to get through these. Yeah, let's go sixth man of the year. All right. First person off the bench, the most valuable guy to do it. It has been kind of owned by a couple guys, I think. Like the like the Jamal Crawford, Lou Williams. Yeah, Lou Williams, and then like I don't know, Jordan Clarkson. Yeah. Tyler Hero. I know he's the reigning, but like he always just was in the conversation. Yeah. It's usually guys on good teams. Yeah. Um, and it it's always kind of been like just like the offensive spark plug guy who yeah. comes off the bench. Yeah, defense does not matter for give, six minutes. You just give buckets. <laughs> you just need somebody to give buckets. That's uh -huh. what it is. Do you know who leads the Vegas odds right now? Uh, Tyler Hero. No. I, actually, I, I would. Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole. Because I actually have him number one on my list. Do you? Okay, give me why. Because. Two reasons. A, he gets buckets. He does. And he's on a team where they, they're they going to say, hey, look, you know, Steph needs to sit. clay has got to sit. Draymond's suspended, whatever. We need you to come in and give us some buckets, and he's going to give you buckets. And that's what he's great you at. You see Draymond suspended. Or whatever. whatever. <laughs> um, he's going to give you buckets, and that's what he does. So I, I think Poole's in a really good spot to be that guy. Also, like, people love a redemption story. People like a good narrative. And people are rooting for Jordan Poole at this point, and I think – He's got a good shot at it. I also have, I think Hero is probably like, Pool's 1A to me, Hero's 1B. Because wow. he's on okay. the same same situation as last year, and he won it last year. Mm -hmm. uh, who, who do you have like on, on your list? I, I, have, have, I have one other, kind of two other long shots. but I'm I have four yet. guys that you haven't mentioned yet. Okay. Okay, so initially I was thinking, I was looking at the Clippers simply because I was like, oh, they have healthy guys, so that means guys who started last year yep. are going to be moved to the bench. And initially, I was like, Norm Powell. Like, he's, mm. he had 19 points a game last year. Obviously, he's going to be someone who gets bumped down because he got traded over, whatever. But now they're talking about starting Reggie Jackson. Yeah. So we're not talking about John Wall coming off the bench? I have no idea what they're going to do. That's I, what, no, that's what they've been saying at Media Day. They said. Yeah. I just think also like that's a team where there's going to be so much load management happening on that team because they have so many guys with like checkered injury histories. Yeah. That even a, whoever's your sixth man might start half the season. I guess. I just thought that was okay. Then my other thing was how how is russell westbrook not being talked about in yeah, that he was on my list that the, would be insane he would be an insane people love good stories right good spark narratives plug off, the yeah. off the bench russell i just westbrook. don't know i mean he he'll he'll definitely have that mindset of a six man coming in trying to get buckets i just don't know if he can make the shots he can't stop i, I mean did you see some of those sh shots stop last year? stop it's russell westbrook i, I know <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> That's like being like ADs coming off the bench. Who knows if he can score? I mean, don't be crazy. He couldn't shoot last year. My other two, and this was simply just because I was looking at good teams and yeah. guys who could put up points, was Bobby Portis. Yeah. And Christian Wood. Yeah. Because he's in Dallas now. Yeah. Well, the other name I had, and it's not really a guy who's going to come off the bench and give you a lot of points, but it's a guy who's going to come off the bench on a really good team and be that kind of catalyst of that second unit and maybe he'll have a team in the top of the conference again. Tyus Jones. You think Tyus Jones could be No, he's he's not he's less of a scorer though. He's not a scorer. I'm all here for He has those games Grizzlies, every once in a while where he'll have 18, 20 points, but I think Tyus is he's so steady and everyone already knows he's so efficient. He's a great player. Um, yeah. He filled in when the thing is efficiency last year. isn't like, like sexy. You know what I mean? Like I it's you. not like Tyler Hero comes in and scores like thirty, and he does like crazy stuff. And ooh, he same with Jordan great, Clarkson. Like Jordan Clarkson yeah. will come in and like every time it's like boom, boom, boom. Ooh, look at me. Amazing assist to turnover ratio. Yeah, oh, like that's not as yeah, like I know what you mean. Title grabby. Yeah, speak for yourself. <laughs> he writes a title today. Tyus Jones, efficiency king. 
Okay. Uh, I don't really have a number one. Those are just kind of the names I, that popped I have out. Pool. I think Poole's probably got to be in the lead. I mean, I, 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 or Tyler Hero. I mean, it, okay. you know, he's in the same situation. He got paid. So maybe the motivation's down a little bit for Tyler Hero. I'm going to go not. Russ then. Okay. I feel like it's like unfair to say that. But. It'd be fun if Russ got it. It mm -hmm. would be great if he embraced that role and, you know. It's not a demotion. It's a realignment. Realignment. Yeah. Okay. I'm Kelsey. That's Lang. We want to know your six men of the year picks too. So put them in wherever you're watching this down below in the comments over there somewhere. Use those Twitter fingers. And we'll see you guys next week.